basically chemistry, the topic of collective properties. Now let's go to problem solving calculation. Okay. Qu question number one: Twenty grams of clarobat. Okay, clar Sodium hydroxide was dissolved in 20 grams of water. Calculate the boiling point of solution. Oh, see, solution. Not solute, not solvent. So what, what's our attack here? First, we need to know the formula of the boiling point of elevation of solute. Take note, guys. Uh, disclaimer. Not all instructors will say that Boiling point elevation of solute. We will just say boiling point elevation. You know, it's confusing also if the students are not attentive because we need to identify the solute. If it is referring to the solute, if it is referring to the solvent, it is referring to the solution. Me also personally, I was confused when I was in my first year, first year college. Maybe it's chemical engineering, but through self study, I really understood. Oh, it's it's solute, pala. Okay, because sometimes we will interpret that as boiling point of the solvent. That's why we cannot understand properly when to add, when to subtract, because we cannot identify really what is that boiling point elevation referring to. And now, I'm teaching you that's referring to solute. Okay, non-volatile solute, not the solvent, not the solution. But take note, going back to the question, asking for the solution. Right? So this is a tricky, because when you use the Formula and you stop there, but it's not yet the solution. I will teach you later. Okay. Like that. So, data given. Okay. Given we have 20 grams of sodium hydroxide strong base. Okay. Strong base. How can we obtain a strong base? Mga palanga through hydrolysis chemical reaction by adding water and salt the table salt we have in our kitchen if we pour water on it then we can produce sodium hydroxide in actual okay by or we have done our experiment now i can do that now if i have the salt i have the water then steal that completely and we can produce sodium hydroxide out of that okay we don't know yet the concentration, but that's still sodium hydroxide because it's not an issue though how, what is the percentage concentration by mass by volume. As long as I'm saying we can produce sodium hydroxide, okay, but we need to teach you that it's going to be the basic uh, chemical reaction in, in our kitchen, okay? Even though we cook, there's a chemical reaction in there, right? You add salt in your, let's say, you make a... Uh, a pitada, a chicken curry, like whatever. You add salt and water, right? When you're cooking. So there's sodium hydroxide produced there. <laughs> but, but take note, take note. The sodium hydroxide there is not concentrated. It will just uh, later on be progressed into the atmosphere. Because, you know, during the boiling point will be established. That's why it's also considered the boiling point of elevation. So you blah, 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 so and so on. Okay. So 20 grams. Okay, 20 grams, so... We need to say, what I'm trying to emphasize, you already apply the chemical reaction even though in your normal cooking in the kitchen. Okay, that's the point I'm trying to emphasize. Okay, 20 grams of sodium hydroxide, okay, dissolved in 200 grams of water. We need to say plus. Okay, 200 grams of water. Okay, mga palangga. Okay, now, grams of solution is equal to math. 20 plus 200, 220 grams. Okay, this is your solution. Ganon. Okay, calculate the boiling point of solution, but asking for the boiling point of the solution, not the mass of the solution. Okay, now we're going back to the formula of boiling point elevation of solute. Okay, our solute here is sodium hydroxide. Okay, of course, by common sense, it doesn't mention any chemical compound here. Only one. But if there are so many uh, chemical compounds mentioned here, and then you have to identify that through your standard formulas, and you can identify which is solute, which is solvent. 
through mathematical you know, operations or calculations. But in here, very easy. Only the sodium hydroxide is your solute. Okay. Now, going back to the formula, uh, delta T B of solute is equal to the, okay, L ebullioscopic constant. Well, okay. Actually, this is not mentioned in, my, in our classroom instruction because our instructors normally use the boiling point constant, uh, boiling point elevation constant, freezing point constant. I'm just teaching you another term. Okay, because in a future examination, sometimes they will change it to another term. And sometimes, nanga, because of, what's that all about? Like a, so it's just the same. Okay, boiling point elevation constant is just equal to ebullioscopic constant. Ebullioscopic constant. Okay? Ebullioscopic constant. Okay, or boiling point elevation constant. So, KB. Okay? Right? It is more interesting and enjoyable an instructor like that, right? You always uh, give another terminology, another terms. It's enjoyable to hear, right? Okay, like that's so a KB times I times M. Okay, M morality KB is ebullioscopic constant or the weight of elevation constant. I is the Vantel factor. Okay, now, so we have add water. If you add water to something or to any compound, it will become an aqueous solution. So, we need to dissociate the sodium hydroxide into water. So, sodium hydroxide will yield, okay, sodium positive 1 plus hydroxide negative 1. So, the Vantel factor is only adding the charges, okay, like that's so. all. Positive one, since there's no number of moles beside the OH and the NA is automatic. Plus one, so plus one, plus negative one. Okay, like that. So in chemistry, we don't have negative sign in the chemical reaction. We always have positive, even though you have a positive one plus negative one, it's not zero, it will become positive two. Okay. Unless your purpose is a neutral compound, but our purpose here is not a neutral compound. Our purpose only is to get the Vantel factor. For example, if I say sodium hydroxide, this is already a neutral compound. Of course, zero. The charge is zero. Okay, I don't put positive. I don't put negative. So this is a neutral compound. Okay, again, all compounds are neutral. Okay, because there's no charge at the top. Okay, you get the point. So we have to say zero charge because plus minus is equal to zero. Something like that. So it will become a neutron. Zero. Neutron is the charge of a neutral compound, which is equal to zero. Okay, it's very clear. <laughs> okay, so positive two Vantel factor I. Why well, you emphasize that also? Because if the question was, what is the oxidation state or oxidation number of sodium hydroxide? Oh, that's another topic. Then you don't have an idea that the sodium hydroxide has a zero, you know, zero charge because it is a neutral compound. So, nana. Nah. Okay, so that's why I emphasize also. As long as I can connect in my present discussion, I must do it. Chara. Okay, now Vantel factor is 2. And then substitute now, plug in your standard formula. So, key B, as I told you, you have to memorize the boiling point elevation constant, which is 0 0.51 degrees Celsius over the molality, okay, times the molality. Okay, the molality here, you need to compute. Do not just put the molality here, huh? you can't say legit. Compute for the molality, okay. Molality is equal to the moles of sodium, which is the moles of sodium hydroxide, okay, over the kilogram of solvent. Our solvent here is the water, obviously, okay, like that, okay. We have not a kilogram of water, yes, because I have 200 grams of water, I will convert that to kilograms. 120 grams of water will be equal to 0.2 kilogram. I'll put that in your denominator. 0.2 kilogram of water. 
broken. Now, more of surgery might look like, again, a trillion times, a billion times, I'll always teach that to you. Relate that with the molar mass and molecular weight. If you see number of moles, bingo! Molecular weight tayo ang pasok sa inyong aling patakan. Something like that. Okay? Get the point? Okay? Because this is not a chemical reaction topic. Okay? Or stoichiometric calculations. This is only, you know, polygative property. Okay, like that. So, we have uh, 20 gram of sodium hydroxide. Uh, 20 grams of sodium hydroxide. The molecular weight of sodium hydroxide. Okay, this is memorization. 23 atomic weight of sodium. 16 atomic weight of oxygen. 1.008 is the atomic weight of hydrogen. And then all. Calculator is complete with the answer brain cells. Okay. 23 calculator. We got 23 plus 16 plus 1.008. So our molar mass or molecular weight is going to be 40.008 gram mole. Okay. Since you need to cancel out the gram to obtain the number of moles of sodium hydroxide, then you're gonna flip that, you reverse that, you multiply. So 40 grams is in the denominator, and then the moles will be in the numerator. Okay, then cancel the gram, what will be left is the moles of sodium hydroxide. Then divide that 20 divided by 40, it's very easy, right? This is only cancels of the zero, that is gonna be 0.2 divided by 4. So what about this 0.5? It's gonna be based in my brain cells. 0.5. Let's check. 20 divided by 40. Okay. Perfect. 0.5. Okay. 0.5. Sometimes you will use your brain cells immediately without using the calculator. If you apply the, the zeros rule, zero. Okay, you, you don't have to use the calculator, the evidence chupa choo choo. If it involves zero zero chupa choo choo, you have to cancel the zero. Okay, so we have 0.5 moles of sodium hydroxide. Okay. Okay, ganon. Muni ako na kuha sa CIT. Kaboka. CIT University. Yes. Okay, 0.5. Sama. 0.2 divided by is equal to 2.5. Okay, so 2.5 is our molality. Okay, so it's gonna be the molality is 2.5. So times 2.5. And we need to put small letter M na. Small letter M, molality stands for molal. Sometimes the problem will not say moles per kilogram of solvent. Sometimes it will say only molal. So that's understood to be molality value. Okay? Like that. So times Bantu factor is 2, we already have here. So mga pala, na cancels the molal. What we left is... Okay, calculator please. I cannot use my brain cells already. I'll use the scientific calculator. So 2.5 times 2 times 0.51 is equals to mga palangga. Is equals to 2.55. So, 2.55 is gonna be degree Celsius. Okay, like that. And I have to erase the dissociation chemical reaction, right? Okay, but the space is limited. <laughs> okay, now mga palangga. This 2.55 degree Celsius is your boiling point elevation of solute. <laughs> Okay, solute, meaning to say sodium hydroxide, not the water, not the solution. But take note, calculate the boiling point of solution, not solute. Okay, so you have still to compute the solution, this is not the answer. Okay, so this is the tricky part because most of the students will get this answer already. No, it's not. And then the sad fact is also included in the choices A, B, C, D. Of course, normally we will be. Basta, mailag ni. Ang sa niya niya, but in the end, it's not yet because it's solution. Okay? Especially when we are in hurry. Okay, because there's a lot 100 items, 150 items like that in the cash. Okay, so going back. So, calculate the value point of solution is going to be till the TB solution is equal to. Okay, solution meaning addition, right? You have to add the solute and the solvent. 
since we have already the boiling point elevation of solute, which is 2.55, then put that here, 2.55 degrees Celsius, which stands for the solute and for the solvent. What is the boiling point of the solvent? Okay, it's obviously 100 degrees Celsius. Why? Because this is water. Okay, when you boil the water, the boiling point is degrees Celsius, 100 degrees Celsius. So we need to add this one, it will become 102.55 degrees Celsius. Okay, like that. This is your boiling point of solution. And just use your common sense that the boiling point of a solution is always greater than the boiling point of your solute. You get the point? Because the solution, it comprises between the solvent and the solute. So it's always lesser to your solution. So it's gonna be higher than 100. Because your boiling point of the solvent is already 100. Okay, that's why we say, if we add non-volatile solute, which is the sodium hydroxide, okay, you will increase your boiling point of the solution. Okay? You're gonna get a, get a point. Okay? 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 In some instances also, guys, after this, asking also, what is the uh, freezing point depression? You can still use that here also, because we have the cryoscopic constant, meaning to say the cryoscopic constant is the reverse of your ebullioscopic constant. The cryoscopic constant, mga palangga, is just the same freezing point depression constant. Okay? Freezing point depression constant. But actually, you don't need to emphasize the depression as long as it is a freezing point constant. But to make it technically correct, you should put depression. But actually, it has the same name. Okay? But to make it precise only, you need to say freezing point depression constant. It's just the same like saying freezing point constant. But these are all equal to cryoscopic constant. Meaning colder environment. When we speak about cryogenic uh, environment that is colder, just like an endothermic in environment. Okay? And then the exothermic environment is more on the ebullioscopic environment. Okay? Get the point? Or the ebullioscopic environment. Okay. So, that is a technicality. Okay. Oh. And then if that question also will say, what is the mole fraction of chuba chucho? Then you can also compute. Okay? And a whole lot more will follow. Sometimes one question only, and there's a lot of additional questions. <laughs> okay? Something like that. Okay. And sometimes also, there will be a velocity. What is the velocity of sodium hydroxide? What is the velocity of sodium hydroxide when you put in the container? Diba? So, claro kay naa, diba? Because we have kinetic energy is equal to one half mass times velocity squared. Na may mass ang sodium hydroxide. Oh. Na sa kinetic energy in calorie, when you compute the heat energy of the sodium hydroxide, when you put that in the container and you boil the, right? When you boil the salt and water, boil, heating. So, there's, because the energy there will be automatically the kinetic energy. So, kinetic energy is equal to one half times this square. You can compute for the velocity of sodium hydroxide. See? Sometimes like that, even though too far, this is not the topic of the velocity because this is not physics. But sometimes, kung matuyok ang utok sa offered sa question, patay. Because even though that is very far, they will put that also in the same question. <laughs> Something like that. Okay? Sometimes also asking for the pressure. What is the pressure of the sodium hydroxide? Like that, and everything. Everything is possible. As long as you have the formula and the standards to follow. Okay. Thank you so much guys for a comment. If you would like to comment this short vlogs of mine, you can share, you can whatever. Okay, you can subscribe to the channel if you want and you can click the bell notification for some news updates of I am Stinger, it's your voice. Bye bye everybody. Our next problem solving will be present point depression. Bye bye. God bless everybody. See you later. Goodbye.
بس بس راح